going on all you beautiful people in the world uh this is andrew here back with car mechanic simulator 2021 in the road to a, becoming a millionaire or road to a millionaire road to a million dollars that's what it was uh we already have three cars lined out up front we got the normal one that we do for the next in order then we got these two we got a dodge viper and the bolt reptilia r6 both of these cars came in for brake jobs and this one came in for more or less an engine repair more or less so let's start with the easier ones first let's bring in the viper we got this done taken care of and out the door they got a little bit of money all right let's see it says brakes what do we got to do on the brakes part not discovered okay let's just take a little gander in here i'm going to say it needs a new caliper for this side uh, what about for that side over there? Well, the caliper looks okay on this side. Probably needs a new rotor. If I had to guess. Pad look okay. Probably needs a new rotor on this one. And let's take a look. Let's take gander at this one. And probably a new brake pad. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's see. What's the... Okay, that's all good that looks like it's in decent shape all right so we're gonna put this back down so we don't break it i'll put her up on the lift now we're gonna start with this wheel right here perfect this caliper off let's see what's that pad look like eh, it looks be okay I guess all right see so we need a brake caliper so we're gonna grab by caliper and a wheel or a caliper cylinder so I'm gonna put the wheel back on me I had to get through this side. It's probably going to be a pad that's also shot. Especially the rotor looking like that. It's going to chew the crap out of the pad. But I guess I'm wrong. That's nothing new. That rotor definitely looks rough. That's for Soyton. Yeah, rotor shot. Okay. We come over here, we gotta break this ventilated. We're gonna put that back on. And we've got two out of four pots. And we'll put the 89% one in. I'll put the wheel back on and we jump to the rear. Lad to the brat. Perfect. Definitely a rotor on this one. Yeah. See? Break disc. First one, there we go. You got it, man. It's probably that they use these uh, basic generic rotors on this. You would figure that they would be putting high performance ones on. But, it is what it is, right? Alright, now we jump over to the far side. Right here, come over here. And if I had to guess, I'm gonna say it's the pads that are shot on this one. Yep. 
What did they do? They swap the pads from that one over to this side? And vice versa? Come on now. I'm not even going to check the uh, list on that one. We're just going to go like so. And put the new, yeah, 21%. 73, 80. Now the wheel. And this car is out the door. We's done. One down, two to go. What we got here? Alright, we got five things wrong. Oh, wait. Uh, that looks to be all good shape. Yeah, it looks to be okay. Let's run to the back. Let's check the... Uh, looks like it went through a field of some sort. Now, where is the ABS control module? Oh, it's all the way up in the front. Duh. Ah. See, the module needs to be changed. The rotor needs to be changed. The caliper. And the rotor. I feel spoiled, so we ain't got a touch. Hmm. Alright, well, let's bring her in the shop. Put her up. Take this wheel off too. All right, now that we're in here, we're gonna jump over here. We're gonna take this off, and you shall see when we check the to-do list. ABS module. That's down here in electronics. 700 simoleons. We're just going to get that done, taken care of out of the way. So we're going to even think about it no more. Alright, now we're going to come back over to this side. And we're going to yank this road off. We're going to check up here. Break this ventilated. So we're going to actually get two of them, because I guarantee both sides are shot. And I'm pretty sure everything else should be on the up and up for this side. Yep. What the? Oh, 86. Change. Put the wheel back on. We're gonna jump on over here. We're gonna get work in here. Look, <laughs> there's the rest of our parts that are bad. Actually, we'll probably say the caliper is okay, but it definitely needs that and this. Am I right or am I right? Caliper, ventilated, pads. Okay, so we need a caliper, put one of them on, put a set of pads on. What do we got left? Huh, that's it. You didn't have to touch the rear of the car. Why well, ain't that something spiffy? Perfect. 
she done? Adios, senorita. Fourteen hundred bucks made off that. All because it had the uh, ABS module that had to be changed. All right. Now the green beast. Actually, what else we got in here? Let's see if we got anything else. No, I'm not doing filter jobs right now. We'll put this in here. You know what? Maybe we will. Oh, what's this? Putting in oil and filter. Change all filters. Change all filters. And give it an oil change. <coughs> first things first, let's jump on into this. I'm going to clear our inventory out. Perfection. Perfect. Now, what we can do is... Because I believe, personally, what we're going to have to do is uh, completely rebuild this car. We're motoring this car, if I'm not mistaken. Now, we've got four parts not discovered. But she needs camshaft. As long as we don't have to get into it, we should be okay. But first things first, I'm going to actually give it a compression test. Make sure we don't got to get into it. I don't think I got to take the hood off, or the head off on this one. Nope. Everything still looks good. Perfect. Alright. So let's get started here. Actually, we're going to drain the oil out of it. Because I need mountain oil change anyway, so. Move this back. And they want just an oil change and an oil change and filter. Oil filter too. Of course they would want an oil filter. Who wouldn't? Alrighty. The filter looks like it's in pretty decent shape. I don't know why they'd want to change it, but whatever. Still got 65% life left. Okay. That's what they want, and that's what they get, man. Alright, now where were we? Ripping this thing apart. Brake pads. Yeah, okay. Hooky. Remember, the bad coil goes in the first one. Or, yeah. Take out the uh, idler A. The belt, the crank pulley, timing cover, A, I4B, Oy. belt tensioner, and then we got the uh, timing belt, I4A, idler A, Cam gear. 
Uh, is this all the stuff that they already wanted us to do? Yep. Okay. Take out the cam caps. Uh, we've got a couple dead spark plugs in there, so I'll just go ahead and replace them all. I think it says I only need to replace two. Yeah, which would be this one. And this one. Now we check our inventory. Yep. We go to remove this cam cap. And we've got one more over there. Perfect. Take off timing cover B. Take off cam gear B I four A or I four B I mean. Timing chain B I or timing chain I four B and cam gear A I four B. I forbidden it. Now we take out the cam. I don't know why, but I'm getting a feeling I have to get into this motor, but it's not telling me anything. Huh. The ignition coil should be on there. Yeah, it is. Hmm. All right. So. Let's get working on this list. First things first, we need a belt tensioner. Uh, I believe the cam, well, we need this cam gear right here. We need any other ones? Oh, we already got it, okay. Uh, we need a camshaft, just one. Right there, I-4B. Uh, keep a cruising, keep a cruising. Not seeing anything else that's ringing out a bell. Fuel pump looks good. Fuel filter looks good. We're good on that aspect. We'll grab four or five of those. We already got the oil filter. serpentine belt wouldn't it have been I think it would have been wait no we're gonna get up to it right here uh, let's see we need serpentine belt what one was it belt a right there B was I'm pretty sure in good shape because it never told us that we needed it but now let's look over here Pretty sure that would be it. We got the tensioner, we got the cam gear, we got the camshaft, idler roller. We gotta get the ignition coil and the spark plugs. That's down over here. Oh, too far. Just one. Yeah, we're gonna do just two. We're gonna replace what the customer wants. I don't know. I'm getting a weird feeling about this motor. Alright, now we're going to put the intake back on. I don't know why I took it off in the first place, but we did. I'm going to put the throttle body V6B back on. Now we're going to put a camshaft in this thing, man. put the cam caps back on but first we're gonna put cam gear a i4b timing chain i4b cam gear b i4b i'm gonna put cam caps back on And I'm going to put this cam cap back on, and then I'm going to put the spark plug in at the same time. Huh. 
However, we're gonna put the next spark plug in first because, well, yeah, I'm gonna make sure we've got the right plugs. Yes, we did. Perfecto. Awesome. Uh, our cam gear i4 s single overhead cam which as you can see it is not a single overhead cam it's actually a dual overhead cam but you know it is what it is I now we're gonna put the belt back on I'm gonna put the belt tensioner Now we get to play the game of what what pads are bad. This car comes with all four uh, disc brake. Okay, let's see. We've done. Got to put the ignition coil on. We got the bushings that we got to put on. Which I believe they're in the front. Now the bad coil was this one right there. So we'll put that one on first since that then takes the new one. And we'll put this one on. This one on. And then this one on. And then we check. Make sure we got it right. Yes, we did. Perfect. Now. We got her up in the air. I may as well put some oil on it. Access drain because it, it wanted what? Change brake fluid, coolant, and power steering fluid. So more or less, give it change all the fluids. Well, alrighty then, we can do that. We are well equipped to do that kind of stuff. I'm going to change the coolant. <clears throat> Perfection. Now we're going to fill it all back up. Including the oil and the uh, windshield washer fluid this time. We've got the uh, timing cover B. Timing cover B. some palos or oil in it. I think we still gotta put oil in it, right? Don't we? Where did we fill that already? No, we didn't fill it. Not yet. Chug chug chug. Oh, clean up our mess. We're not going to check the fluid level. We're going to live dangerously. Oh, hey, we're not done yet there, bud. Now we're done. That windshield washer jug definitely looks like it's seen better days. That's for sweeten. Alright, after this we should be done underneath the hood. Close that down. What if the rotor is shot? All 
right, now we're going to check the rotor, see if that, how badly shot that is. Yep, break this ventilated. I'm going to come over here. Wait a minute here, that... Huh. So I see we're probably going to need all four pads for this, so we're going to buy four. Uh, I need to break this ventilated. <coughs> back on. Perfect. Now we're going to jump over to the other side here. Actually, let's see what's changing these bushings. They're definitely looking wretched, that's for sure. Actually, that one don't look too, too bad. This one, on the other hand. <laughs> that one doesn't look bad either. Must be on the rear of the car. Yeah, there's one. Let's get our four bushings, the bigger bushing. We got these all taken away. We jump back up here to the front and got the little mini Cooper. Well, that's what it's supposed to be designed off of, is a little Mini Cooper. All full bushings are done. We've got two brake pads and two more undiscovered pots. Well, I think we're going to have one undiscovered part after this. Correction, we have no undiscovered parts. So, I only buy one? Yeah, dude. Son of a gun. Alright, so now let's just change the pads on the rear. And this thing is done. This thing will be golden. I think I, we did everything else, yep. All right, now we go to the rear of the car. Change the brake pads. Perfect. Not a wheel. As far as I know, I put everything back on the motor. I'm going to jump over here. We're going to do this wheel. Rip that caliper off. <coughs> And I believe 
it's time we say goodbye to this. Adios. You can make a whole heck of a lot of money off of that. Made like 1900 bucks. Alright. Both air filters, fuel filter, and oil filter. First things first, let's put it up on the lift. Get the oil filter changed. And because this is a V10 car, it's got the V10 oil filter. Now I'm going to have to check and see what, if there's any special style air filters for this car, or if it's just the Type A's. Okay. Where are you, Type A? Right there. We need two of these. What else do we need? We have the and a fuel filter. Come on now. I'm gonna grab two of these. <coughs> Sorry about that. Because guaranteed the next car is gonna need one too. Alright, now that we've got it up in the air, let's come over here, let's drain the oil. Nothing wrong with that oil. That filter, on the other hand, though, that looks something neat. Oh, well, the filter was shot, that's for sure. Okay, now we're going to set her back down. Change the air filters. The fuel filter. And put a hole in it. Oh yes, the wonderful clip bees. The only drawback to just starting out is how slow everything is. Alright, now it's time to do the reversal of what we just did. If the clips are going in the right spot, don't have a clue. All right, we got that side done. Now we're going to do this side. After that, we put them all in it. Out the door she goes. to the next one. Filters, the oil filter, fuel filter has been changed, the air filters have been changed, got some fresh clean oil going into it. Oh shit, this car is styling. Perfect. She's done, she's gone, she's out the shop. Let's grab the, this one. I guess oil filter too. Oil filter, fuel filter, air filter. This one right here is an air filter I4B. 
So what we'll do is we'll do these right here first. And we've got the fuel filter right there. Perfection. Oh wait, we're not done yet. We're gonna pull out the air filter. Ooh, it's real dirty. We're gonna put the air filter back in. I'm gonna put the air filter box lid on. And now this one is going to require the I4 one, yep. And then this one should be oh wait. This one should be a yellow one. Yep. So we'll get both oil filters right now while we're thinking of it. We need this one and this one. All right. Bring this one into the shop first, since it was the first one here before the green one. And we're going to put this way up in the sky. What's up? We'll bring this over, over to the crow threat, or whatever, however you say that, pronounce it, don't have a clue. Alright, I'm going to put this back, and rip this filter out. Come on now, what's the issue? I guess it would help if I'm in the right setting, huh? Awesome. Now we're going to set this back down. Actually, we're going to bring this outside. We're going to swap out the CUDA. I believe now all we need now is just put oil in it. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we got to do an oil change on the CUDA. Then we're done. up make sure there's no mess shut her down call the customer it's all ready to rock and roll have fun Oop, leveled up again all right this one right here i believe it. let's check the uh order order sheet change oil train to put new oil and filter okay well we already got the filter so nice little hemi hemi cuda One day we'll own one. Okay. Come on now, get off of there. Perfect. And drop this back down. <coughs> No, we're not going to do that. Oh, I'm not going to rip all this off. Because if you don't take that, if you don't take that shaker scoop off, you can't see where how much oil is, or when the oil is done. much of a difference. We ain't done yet, boy. Put the base on. Put the filter in. The lid on it. We'll put the air scoop on. 
Now we're done. Bring this outside. Tell the customer to come get it. Done. 46 bucks. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, also too, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that way then every time that I put a new video up, you guys get it. Whether it be this one, house flip, or whatever, whatever the case may be, just hit that notification bell. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you on the next episode. Bye!